to this session on Translation Hub. As part of SAP BTP best practices, we'll explore how simply we can translate documents and even software using Translation Hub. By the end of this session, you'll have a clear understanding of key principles, best practices, and implementation guidelines. Let's get started. Our discussion will follow these four key steps. First, we'll provide an overview of outcomes and benefits of SAP Translation Hub service. Second, we'll cover the essential prerequisites you'll need to have in place before implementation, including both commercial and technical requirements. Third, we'll explore the key choices and guidelines that will impact your implementation, including how to select the right Translation Hub variant choice between the machine translation and large language model engines, and explore the different best practices to enhance performance, quality, and scalability. Finally, we'll dive into the implementation details, providing you with an example and resources for Python. SAP Translation Hub is an artificial intelligence-powered service that simplifies multilingual content creation for applications, documents, and user interfaces. It combines machine translation with large language models and your enterprise terminology to deliver fast, consistent, high-quality results. You can access it through a web user interface or through application programming interfaces for document translation. Translate documents with artificial intelligence using machine translation engines or large language models. The service automatically detects the source language from your input. For software translation, localized software, and user interface text using multiple sources, including verified repositories and approved company terms. You get faster localization with consistent enterprise terminology across languages. This best practice will allow you to leverage Translation Hub service to translate software and business documents at scale, which will lead to reduction in manual efforts. Using Translation Hub will have three main benefits. First one is enhanced translation quality. This service will help you to achieve the best quality for SAP content with higher consistency across projects. Second is faster time to market. Translation moves faster and teams work more efficiently. When you expand globally, your customers using the service report up to 90% reduction in translation time through integration and automation. Third one is cost savings, pre-translation and intelligent data reuse cut effort and spend. Customers have reported savings from 25 to 85% depending upon their processes. Before implementing, let's cover the prerequisites needed on SAP Business Technology Platform. You'll need an SAP Business Technology Platform sub-account, having a subscription to SAP Translation Hub service. Pricing information on all these services are available and linked to resources to provide more context around these prerequisites. SAP BTP is an integrated suite of cloud services, databases, AI, and development tools that enable businesses to build, extend, and integrate SAP and non-SAP applications efficiently. By setting up these prerequisites, you'll establish a foundation for translation of your text, documents, and software. Here's an overview of the SAP Translation Hub offering. On the left, you see the software translation workflow and editor. It automates translation for custom Fiori apps, including SAP UI5 and ABAP extensions. You manage projects from start to finish in one place. On the right is the document translation user interface. You can translate text and full documents automatically through an intuitive screen. Its APIs support both synchronous and asynchronous jobs. Application programming interfaces are available for translate and project operations. Conversion services handle many formats. For software, you can process ABAP property files, JSON, iOS, and Android. For documents, you can process HTML docs, Excel, PDF, and plain text. Your terminology foundation is, to, is built in. Use your company MLTR, the SAP MLTR, or Automatic Language Identification and Robust Markup Handling. Under the hood, you get AI-enabled translation providers, 
SAP Machine Translation supports 40 target languages, uses the transformer architecture, and is trained on SAP language data with the best security standards. A new large language model-based option adds more than 50 target languages and more than 2,000 language combinations. You can access large language models through the SAP Generative AI Hub with optimized prompting. Together, these capabilities let you translate software and documents at scale, reuse approved terminology, and integrate cleanly with your existing pipelines. Let's discuss some key decisions that impact the performance and utility of your AI applications. Starting from this matter, SAP Machine Translation compares, compared with LLM-based translation and when to use each. On the left, SAP Neural Machine Translation, it speaks SAP fluently and delivers the best quality for SAP-related content. It also offers high performance with fast real-time translation, even for large volumes. Through the Synchronous API, you can handle up to 16,600 requests per minute and about 12,000 words per minute. On the right, however, large language-based translation. It provides additional languages and language combinations that machine translation may not support. It performs well on non-SAP content and on generic noisy inputs, such as text with errors or mixed language sources. In short, choose machine language tra SAP machine language translation for SAP specific text and maximum throughput. Choose LLM-based translation for broader language coverage and for messy or mixed inputs. Now let's have a look at recommended best practices for document translation. Path selection, synchronous or asynchronous. The synchronous API is best for short documents and interactive experiences. It supports files up to 100 megabytes and about 40,000 characters. The limit varies by language. For example, for Japanese, the limit is 13,500 characters. The asynchronous API is best for large files and batch work. It handles documents up to 100 megabytes for up to 2,500,000 characters. You can pull the job status and retrieve the results anytime within three days after completion. If you know the source language, set it explicitly. Use language identification only when the source is unknown. Detection assumes a single language and is less accurate on very short or noisy text. Avoid detection for content that contains only numbers, web addresses, email addresses, spaces, or special characters. Now let's look at guidelines around using software translation. You should choose the right operating mode and schedule. Pick the approach that fits the job and group work to improve efficiency for small and ad hoc projects. Use the Translation Hub user interface for medium to large workloads. Run the ABOP report as a background job, which fetches proposals directly from the Hub and scales better. You can also use application programming interfaces to automate software translation in files and in continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines. Let us now look at review and post-edit workflow guidelines. Use two-step review process when you want separa separation of duties and an explicit approval pass, especially for customer-facing or regulated content. For internal text, prototypes, or time-sensitive drafts, it is recommended to e use easy one-step review setup. Use the quality index to decide when to accept machine translation proposals. The scale is 0 to 100. Performance is a scale for long-running projects break large workflows into chunks of about a thousand objects. The lower the risk of timeouts and makes progress tracking easier. Let's touch upon implementation guidelines for this service. If you wish to integrate this service into your existing project or in development software, SAP has published APIs for Translation Hub AI service. You can consume these API endpoints to extract the desired information from your documents. You have two ways to begin, Python examples and API references. On the Python side, start with reference code for synchronous document translation using machine translation. Use the asynchronous example for larger jobs that you want to run in the background. Try the example that uses a large language model when you need richer context handling on the API side. Go to the SAP API Hub for document translation and for software translation. 
then consult the detailed API reference pages for both areas. This path is ideal when, ideal when you are integrating into services or continuous delivery pipelines for structured onboarding. Follow the learning journey called Enable Users and uh, Multilingual Businesses with SAP Translation Hub. Let's look at a practical example of how to implement AI model access using Python. This code sample demonstrates the simplicity of using Translation Hub document translation service to translate text from one language to another. This Python snippet makes a secure translation request to Translation Hub service. First, we'll set up the request headers with authorization as bearer plus the access token and content type as application JSON. Next is to form the request body to build the request body with source language set to German, target language set to US for English, encoding set to plain model set to LLM. Or we can use the default, which is SAP engine instead of LLM and the data, which is to be translated will be passed on the data field. The above values are shown just for demonstration purposes. You can play around with different language combinations. This concludes the, our overview of using Translation Hub service. We have covered the benefits using Translation Hub, prerequisites, solution overview, implementation steps, key decision factors, and implementation guidelines with a practical code example. This best practice reflects the collective expertise of AI specialists from across SAP, bringing together insights to support your journey. Thank you for watching this session on translation. We will hope the information provided helps you successfully implement translation capabilities in your business applications.